Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Dennis and as you probably know I am airline captain and today I'm going to tell you why would you buy the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Stay tuned. Bum, bum. So my friends, we are inside the basic Cessna 152 inside the cockpit and what I can see it's very realistic. You can see those shadows buttons and everything and everything is working i'll turn off the radio because i don't want to hear this uh, air traffic control while flying so basically you can do all the procedures you can switch everything according to the procedures that you pres you have in your book but this applies only for the small airplanes they are very detailed compared to big uh, aircraft like um, airbus 320 neo Half of the systems are not working uh, at all and some of the systems are not working properly because it's very sophisticated airplane. But for this small airplane you can buy this flight simulator and enjoy the graphics. The graphics is absolutely fantastic. I have the middle, uh, the middle specs for my laptop. It's a very average, average hardware. It's MSI. Uh, Intel Core 7i and uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. The graphic processor is GTX GeForce uh, 1060 uh, M. It's mobile version. It's less powerful. That is why sometimes this simulator is lagging. It may freeze for a couple of seconds. But anyway, I can fly it. But what I can see, my friends, is very interesting. As you can see, you have some problems with graphing, but then we zoom out, it's more or less okay. So the, the job of making, making this, the visual part of these models is absolutely nice. I, I like it a lot, my friends. Let's move outside and see the surroundings. Outside we have the runway. We have some of the buildings. The buildings might be better, might have been better, but what we have is also nice. And it's new type of generation of the flight simulators. Before I filmed the video, why I would not buy, why I will not buy the flight simulator in 2020, and I was disappointed that I don't, I didn't have, um, and we still don't have the Boeing 737 that I fly in real life in this flight simulator but i still can fly the small airplanes there and finally i was convinced by my subscribers and by many others uh, to buy this flight simulator but i'm using not using it not just for you know realistic flights with air traffic communication i'm using to explore the world because you can basically fly everywhere so i was flying in the places where i've been where I would like to be because it ha it will give you that opportunity because I for example I've never flown in the London City Airport we used to fly to London Gatwick Airport which is nearby but here I may fly I may take off from this airport which we'll do right now let's go with the power we have some of our engine parameters and you may fly you may fly and discover the London very interesting and you may have the basic skills of piloting the airplane. For example, you pull the, the joystick up and you take off. Pull it down, you descend, you roll the aircraft, you use your rudder. So it will have your basic skills to control the airplane. You know, I, then I was young, then I was seven years old or eight. I tried the flight simulator the first time. So I went to my a friend and his father was the airline pilot and uh, he installed the flight simulator 1994 as far as I remember and I met him in his apartments and he said well, my young friend said okay let's try try to fly the Cessna and I was so surprised how well well it was the game uh, of the life for me I really enjoy flying the uh, flight simulator 1994 even though it was really crappy compared to what we have here so I think we will find more many more enthusiastic people coming not only to fly simulator community but also to aviation community I think many people will start to fly the real airplanes after they, they will like the flight scene 
wow nice nice graphics and also you have the very interesting uh, buildings here you, that you may not find in previous flight simulators for previous flight simulators you need to download this special scenario to have the detailed information about this city yeah it's lagging my friends it's lagging sorry my laptop is not good for example here is O2 Arena the concert hall the biggest concert hall I think in UK probably well in London for sure but I'm not sure about the UK well absolutely great and you may fly you may find these buildings the business part of London and the tower bridge I can already see it so it will it can give you all the opportunities to see the surroundings of those areas that you've been and you probably won't see in the airplane future because we have major lockdown but here you can just sit in your airplane and fly very nice and you may use this flight simulator as the sand pit for you to play for big airplanes don't fly them they are not very detailed you will just be disappointed but for small planes you can try you will never become a pilot piloting the flight simulator but you may have the base, basic skills in navigation or maybe you may have some VFR skills oh, it's going up and what I would like to say that this is the basic mode now it's just released the Microsoft Flight Sim released in the last month so it will have so many add-ons I already installed a few of the updates and yes updating this flight sim is, takes lots of time but I can see that this flight simulator may change for better they're working on upgrade of the default airplanes they're working for upgrade them to upgrade the environment and to make this flight simulator more friendly for lower specs uh, personal computers and also you may play it if you have xbox you may also try to play it on xbox well so far i like it just look at it look at this building it's almost real like in real life it's lagging but more or less okay so i'm using using this flight scene to enjoy the sceneries, the sceneries, the scenes and I was able to find my house the house of my parents and yeah, it's fantastic my friends, absolutely great Pum pum. here we have Big Ben house nice Big Ben house of parliament UK you cannot fly there in uh, real life like this but here you may try to fly to see everything <laughs> well my friends uh, I'm also I also have the bad news that um, probably you won't like this flight simulator if you're just a gamer uh, you still need to have some little uh, aviation knowledge is how to fly the airplane what the speed means the airspeed if you what will happen to the airplane if you lose the speed so it's not easy to play this game for me, I would like to have the hardest uh, settings as possible, the more realistic settings as possible. And that settings I may only fi find uh, flying not the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, but Prepare 3D Flight Sim that I already also have. And I also have the Boeing 737 PMDG model installed there. And that is very, very detailed. It's almost like real airplane. All the switches, all the systems are working correctly. If you compare it uh, with the Airbus 320 Neo that we have on this flight simulator, the 320 Neo is complete rubbish. Uh, not the airplane, but the model. It's half of the systems not working, everything is working not correctly. I tried it and I didn't like it. So I'm still waiting for new models appear in this flight simulator new airbus models new boeing models i would like to see boeing 737 but the bad news are that the boeing 737 model would not appear here until the end of 2021 so by that time probably i'll use this flight simulator just as a game for me so yes my friends and also Prepare 3D Simulator helped me not to forget some of the procedures on Boeing 737. I will not use the flight simulator for pilot training, 
but just not to forget that the systems are it's more or less okay uh, the switches or the sequence because uh, then you don't fly for four months you start to forget the things and uh, I would open the cockpit of my prepare, prepare 3D PMDG flight simulator and I'll switch the systems and I'll go to the same through the same sequence as for the normal flight but it's still not real my friends still not real my friends if you like the aviation things I think this uh, flight simulator is superb you can you may purchase it it's not very expensive as for what you have and especially if you have lockdowns if you are not allowed to you know, go somewhere you may spend your time enjoying uh, interesting graphics especially if you have nice uh, specs for your computer for your laptop if your hardware your hardware is more or less powerful and here we go with the landing because m my laptop will not give me that opportunity would not give me that as you can see we are lagging we are flying so and let's land I don't know where I land what's the name of the street but anyway we can do it can we reduce the speed uh, from the landing oh the car we can, let's go with the parallel to the road hope there will be no cars and you can take off from that place so probably it's somewhere someone's house here and we park so we'll never do it in real life but here you may do it so my friends i enjoy this flight simulator because just because of this uh, interesting stuff that you can do the graphics is nice i would like to have better computer however but what i have is also okay for me my friends i know that you are awesome and that is why you need to follow the awesome guy checklist first you need to like this video then subscribe to my channel then ring the bell whatever it means Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great time! Pam, pam.